Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I'll be getting you through a seated yoga practice for stress relief, relief of any tension that you're carrying in your hips, a low back and a little bit in the shoulder area. So when we are carrying stress, those are the first few areas where we carry tension and we hold the most stress in our bodies. So today's practice, although it is a seated yoga practice, it is going to be a little bit more melty, I should say, not quite a yin practice, but the holds will be a little bit longer in length. For today's practice, you're going to need one block, which we will use towards the end, and we will go ahead and get started laying down on our mats. So laying all the way down onto your back, cactusing both arms, gently push into your feet, pick up your hips, swing them to the left and set them down. Draw the knees in towards your chest and over and down to the right. Gentle gaze towards the ceiling or over the left shoulder. You can also place your right hand on top of the left knee. Gently on your next exhale, bringing your gaze back to center and gently drawing your knees all the way back in and up, bringing the soles of the feet to the floor. Readjust the hips, the back. We'll do the other side. So pushing into your feet, pick up your hips, swing them over to the right this time and set them back down onto the mat. Draw your knees in towards your chest and over to the left. Gentle gaze towards the ceiling or over that right shoulder, you can place your left hand on top of the right knee. Next exhale, gently bring the gaze back towards the ceiling, drawing the knees back in and up. Gently rock side to side. You can wrap your arms around your knees. Bringing the feet back to the mat. Bringing your feet as wide as your mat. And then bringing your arms up overhead. From here, you're going to, without moving your feet, you're going to allow both knees to drop to the right. And then you're going to take a hold of your left wrist with your right hand and gently pull to the right. So feeling a nice stretch through the left side body. And if you want to take it a step further, you can take the right ankle and place it on top, not on the knee, but just above the left knee. Gently release the side. If you had the ankle crossed over, uncross, bring the sole of the right foot back to the floor. Gently draw the knees back and straighten out. Give it a little wiggle. We'll come to the other side. So feet come as wide as the mat again. Allow both knees to drop to the left this time. And you want to think about pushing your hips forward to really feel that stretch in the right hip flexor, right side body. Bringing your arms up overhead, grabbing hold of the right wrist this time and pulling to the left. Option to place the left ankle over top of the right knee.
gently release the shape, uncross the ankle, draw the knees back towards the ceiling, and straighten out. Bring the arms back down, drawing the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a hug. We'll find happy baby from here. So grabbing a hold of the outer edges of your feet, the pinky toe edge of your feet, and bringing your legs up. So you want to imagine as if you're walking on the ceiling, your feet are flat, elbows are to the inside of the knees. And the key here is to gently pull down on your feet as you push your low back into the floor and the back of the skull. Alternatively, you can also grab a hold of the ankles if grabbing a hold of the feet is not accessible. Let's release the shape with two breaths. So on an inhale, you're gonna push your feet up and resist and pulling down with the hands. Nice big inhale. And exhale, draw down on the feet. One more inhale. Exhale, gently pull down on the feet. Bring the soles of the feet to touch, close the knees, gently rock from side to side. From here, we'll rock and roll to a seat, just bringing your hands behind your knees and gently rocking up and down, maybe three times. Coming all the way up to a seat. So bringing the soles of the feet to touch, moving the fleshy part of your sit bones out from underneath you, bringing your hands onto your ankles. Inhale here, grabbing a hold of the, grabbing a hold of the ankles, pushing the feet together, so keeping tension in the legs. Inhale, shoot the chest forward, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale gently. Bring the chest forward first. You can use your elbows to gently open the knees. Maybe you wrap your fingers around, around the toes. Nice active butterfly. Next exhale, gently release the tension and just melt here into the pose. Just for a few breaths, maybe you reach your fingertips out. Sway from side to side. Very gently walk yourself all the way up. Finding dragon. So right leg comes all the way out, drawing the left foot in towards your groin. Inhale to lengthen here, and exhale to gently come forward any amount. So this right leg is nice and active. Toes are pointing towards the ceiling, and you're lifting the kneecap.
And gently releasing this side. Inhaling here. And a soft side of the mouth. Staying nice and low, we're just gonna walk over towards that right leg. You want to frame your right foot with your hands and then draw the rib cage over that leg, coming down. If you'd like, if it helps, you can take your left hand to the outside of that right foot. Gently, next exhale, begin to rise. Walk your fingertips back through center. You're going to take that right hand now behind you. Push into your right heel. Push your hips up and forward as you reach back with your right hand. For three, two, And one. Very gently bring your seat back to the mat and we'll switch sides. So bringing that right leg back in, right foot comes in towards the groin, left foot comes out this time. Lift the left kneecap and flexing the toes so your toes are pointing towards the ceiling. Lengthening here, inhale and exhale to come forward any amount. Inhaling here, and side out. Lifting the gaze gently, staying nice and low as you walk your hands over that left leg. Frame the left foot, left leg. And the option is there to take your right hand to the outside of the left foot. Nice big inhale, and let it go. Gently release the grip, rise all the way back up, taking now your right fingertips behind you, dig your left heel into the floor as you push your hips up and forward, reaching back with your left fingertips for three, two, And one. Gently bringing your seat back to the mat and drawing the feet in. Just flush that out, windshield wiper the knees side to side. And so we'll take this just a little bit deeper, bringing the legs nice and wide once again taking one hand in front, one hand behind, push into your fingertips and just inchworm yourself forward on one side and the other. Again, kneecaps are active, so lift the kneecaps, dig the heel. So there's so much activation in my legs, my heels are almost coming off the mat. 
inhale here to lengthen. And when you're ready, coming down any amount. And just noticing if you're rounding through the spine, thinking about sticking your bum out. You're all the way down, gently coming up onto your forearms or onto your palms. We're gonna stay low, or even if you're on your palms, walking over to the right. Gently releasing that side. So staying low if you're low or if you're on your palms, just walking your hands over to the left this time. Gently release that side. If you are on your palms, coming back to center. If you're on your forearms, coming back to center. And now just relax the legs and just notice if maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Big inhale and sigh it out. Gently push up onto your palms, walk yourself back through center. Gently lean back, close the knees. You can wrap your arms around your knees and just gently rock from side to side. making our way into a pigeon. So from your tabletop position, you're just gonna bring your left knee behind your left wrist. And you want a nice long line from your knee to your big toe. Glance over your shoulder, make sure that right leg is actually behind you. Lengthen out here, square off your hips. So draw that right hip forward, left hip back, and making your way down onto your onto your forearms. Minimal pressure in the elbows. Gently releasing this side, pushing all the way back up. Walk your hands in, lean the weight into your left hip. 
As you come through center, hands come behind you, bend both knees. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So you're bending the right knee now, extending the left leg back. Glance over that shoulder, square off the hips and fold. nice big inhale and sigh it out gently push into your palms lift yourself all the way up roll or rock your weight into your right hip swing that left leg forward grab your block and come to lay all the way down onto the back, draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a gentle rock from side to side. From here, we'll take a supported bridge. So bringing the soles of the feet to the floor. Keeping in mind, the block has three heights. So it's the lowest height, second highest height, highest height. You're going to place the block underneath your sacrum, finding that sweet spot for you. Your sacrum is that nice flat piece of bone. And just hanging out here. Maybe adjust the shoulders if they're up towards your ears. Draw them down and away. Gently from here, we're going to extend the legs straight down. Bring the arms up overhead and take a nice long body stretch. Maybe you shimmy your hips from side to side, point and flex the toes. And then gently bending the knees again. Soles of the feet come to the floor. Gently push into your feet to remove the block. Set your hips back down onto the floor. So you can bring the knees to knock in. So bringing the feet nice and wide, allow the knees to knock in. And alternatively, you can extend your legs out wide Arms out wide for your Shavasana. And if you have maybe a blanket, towel, eye pillow, you can place it over the eyes or you can place the eye of your elbow gently over the eyes just to block out some light.
slowly beginning to invite movement back into the body wiggling the fingers, the toes rotating the ankles, the wrists maybe you nod the head from side to side Reaching the arms up overhead, interlacing the fingers, reach through the fingers, reach through the toes. Nice long body stretch. Reach, 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 reach. Really exhale, let it go. Bend the knees. Gently draw the knees in towards the chest. Gently rock side to side. And then gently bring the feet back to the floor, rolling to one side. Just hanging out here for a bit. And gently pushing yourself all the way up to a seat. With your eyes closed and your hands at heart center, just humbly bow your chin in towards your chest. And just taking these few moments today to think of three things that you are grateful for in this moment. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. I hope you are feeling relief. Your shoulders, low back, and hips are feeling nice and open and that you are ready for whatever it is that you have ahead. Uh, thank you always for watching, for following along and practicing with me, and I will see you in the next practice.